Hey, Kanan here from Basin Motorsports. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to quickly install a heads-up display or a HUD bezel cover kit from RPF C5 LLC. All right, so here's what's gonna come in our kit from RPF C5. I have a black bezel repair kit cover here. This is the matte black that it comes with for the black. It comes with a set of nice nitro gloves to keep your hands clean, an adhesion promoter, adhesion, sandpaper to sand the OEM piece to get a good texture for the adhesion and glue to. You have some alcohol wipes, of course business card piece there, and then you have the instructions. Now these are pretty in-depth instructions. You can see it stepped through there. You have some pictures on the back, which is pretty awesome. You have everything to do to go with it, and then how to use the accelerate for the adhesive, some caution, and then how to prepare for the installation. Now, if you're worried about technical data, it's got it all here for all the chemicals you're gonna use in the kit. And with that, we're gonna follow the instructions for the kit, putting it on my Corvette step-by-step. Step. All right, so the first step after reading all the instructions, I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on. So it comes with two nitro gloves. We'll go ahead and throw those on. And then step one is I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my alcohol wipes that comes in the kit. And I'm gonna go wipe down the OEM bezel to make sure that it is clean. Now it says to extra, be very important, be clean very well. So go ahead and do that. And then the come back, we're gonna jump into step two. All right, so step two is we're gonna take after cleaning, go ahead and take your bezel and you can go ahead and lay it over the OEM piece. Now it does say in the instructions, you can go ahead and put blue painter's tape that's not included. And this is just some two inch tape I have here in the garage. You can put this over the top. It helps keep the adhesive off this top edge and it also helps keep from scratching it. Now you wanna go ahead and take this inside and go ahead and fit it in to make sure you like the fit of it. So again, this goes against the windshield. You're gonna leave this small gap without the tape so the tape comes off easily. You're gonna fit it down into the windshield and then snap it down. Now you will notice without the adhesive, it's gonna have a little bit of a gap along the edge, but notice that it's gonna fit. So you can take it, press it down in there, and you should see that it fits pretty darn well. It should almost directly overlay it, so if you look at it straight on and hold it down, it should fit exactly over the top. Side to side, make sure that everything fits as you want to. Looks everything good. The cover fits down over the HUD. You can feel it with your fingers, and it's gonna sit down nicely as you hold it with the adhesive. All right, so the next step in the process is to prepare your OEM dash bezel for the adhesive and the other cover. So you're gonna take a paper towel, just go ahead and put it over your glass. That way it keeps the adhesive from getting on that and then use some of the same blue painter's tape and you're gonna go around the bezel. Now get pretty close to it. That way you don't have to worry about adhesive getting on it by chance. Do your best all the way going around and I'll show you the pictures they have in the instructions. Two is the paper towel here and then three is the painter's tape. So I did my best to do the exact same thing and I think we're about ready to go for the next step. All right, so the next step in the process is going to get our cover bezel ready to adhere down. Now the sandpaper involved, you can go ahead and grab it and go ahead and scuff the back of the cover. Now just go ahead and all the way around to close to the edges. Really you're concerned with the flat portion, but you can get all the way to the curves. And once you're done with there, you can go ahead and clean it with the other alcohol wipe. And if you find that it's not drying well enough, you can just go ahead and grab a heat gun and give it a little bit of heat and it should help flash off and dry off the alcohol. Now, once you're done there, if you notice in the instructions on number four here, you have the pattern you want to lay down your glue drops. So once you go ahead and cut open your glue, you can take the lid off, take the cap off, poke it, it's just like super glue. This is like super, super glue. And you can go ahead and start dropping dots down. Now it does say about an inch apart in a zigzag. So you notice if you lay your instructions next to your part, you see that it does a zigzag and they're about an inch apart, mostly on the flat, but it does creep up to where the curve is. The flat's gonna give you your best adhesion. So just do it there and you don't need a lot of adhesive. So don't go crazy with it. All right, here's a quick look at the adhesive on the dots. Did my best to follow the pattern. Now I need to stop talking, get over there, slide it in place, hold it down. Should take less than 90 seconds to go. And I'll talk about the adhesive accelerator once I have my bezel on. All right, so after the adhesive was installed, I go ahead, 
let the new bezel on. Now you can hold it down and I tell you what, it says it can take up to 90 seconds for the adhesive to stick down. Now I had a little bit of trouble. My shop is not as warm as it says. Uh, it says, you know, try to do it over 50. My shop is definitely 50, but I tell you what, had a little bit of trouble of the adhesive staying in every little spot on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let this sit overnight. It says it can take up to 24 hours for the adhesive to fully cure and bond the new cover to the old OEM piece. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this sit. Now what you see here is I have a partial roll of paper towels sitting uh, using the windshield and the paper towels to push down on the bezel. And I've got some stuck down towards the bottom edge. So that's where I was really having a little bit of trouble. I just couldn't get my fingers down in there to get a good pressure push down. Uh, everything else, the rearward edge, the sides was great. So I'm going to let this sit for 24 hours just using some paper towels. This is my example. And we're going to let this sit cure. And I'll come back tomorrow and show you the finished product. All right. So here's going to be a look at the finished product. Now this is, has sat for 24 hours. This is the next evening after I just installed this. So putting the paper towels in here as kind of a wedge to hold it down really, really did the trick. Now you can see, just looking at the edge, it is almost a perfect copy. In fact, it is a perfect copy of the original bezel. You can just kind of see and looking down in there, no gaps, everything is held down well. Looking very, very good. And here's a look from the outside of the vehicle looking down through the windshield. It's a little bit of glare from the overhead lights, but you can see that the cover is perfectly aligned. You really probably don't even know that that's a cover if you didn't know what you're looking at. The opening aligns up well, no blockage on looking at the inside heads up display. Very good fit all the way around. All right, so a couple things I wanna note here on the instructions just to, for clarification. When you do this kit, the main instructions here actually don't say anything about using the sandpaper. And that's gonna be this little piece here. What you're gonna find is it's listed on the bezel preparation. So once you get to that step of preparing for your bezel, once you get to point probably putting on some blue painters tape on the top side to prevent the adhesive or scratches on it, go ahead and make sure you double check this to make sure that you use the sandpaper to scuff it. That way it has good adhesion, there's good rough surface on the backside so that it can stick down. Now, one thing I want to also note is that it does come with an adhesion accelerator and a little, kind of like a little spray pump here. One thing I found is that I was having trouble getting my hands down in there to get good coverage all along the sides per the instructions. So you notice at the end where I was holding it down and I put some paper towels in to kind of wedge it in there and place pressure using the windshield to kind of press it down. Letting that sit for 24 hours was the exact cure that was needed in that situation. So if you find you're using the accelerant, it's not giving you the real results that you're looking for. Maybe you're not getting a good adhesion or good tackiness of the adhesive sticking the cover on top of the OEM piece. Go ahead and just use some towel or something else to kind of wedge it down in there, put, using the windshield to push it down. I think you're going to find the results are going to look similar to mine where it lays down flat it adheres in 24 hours and you're not going to have any problems after that the adhesive is very very strong you're just going to have to allow it time to work and once it's done that's it and the last thing i'll mention is that it does come with a sheet that says caution at the top talking about the care now it is a uv protected piece and you shouldn't be worried about it drying out and cracking but it does mention in the instructions that you want to avoid getting chemicals on it. So you're thinking like armor all or anything else. Be very careful with it. Just use a damp cloth as it says in the instructions just to clean it. That way you don't have to worry about any of those chemicals kind of leaching down into the plastic and ruining that UV protection and then having a crack later on or anything else. Otherwise the kit is fantastic. It's very easy. You can probably with the drying time you can have it done in 24 hours. It's very easy to do and it comes in all the colors you need. Now, if you have any questions on the RPF C5 kit that I just installed on my Corvette, check the video description down below. I'll have a link over to it. You can buy from the website. They also have it on eBay, on Facebook Marketplace. And if you have any questions, go ahead and contact Ray, who owns the business. Very helpful guy. He actually talked to me before I even ordered it, gave me some help with understanding the process before I even bought the kit and had it shipped out to me. But otherwise, 
it is nice. And I think you'll be very happy with it. So any questions, throw them down in the comments. Any uh, comments, throw those in the comments too. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.